Hello everybody, so the Criminal Enterprises DLC is out, and despite having many changes I've been basically begging for for like six years, Rockstar has still somehow managed to disappoint me. So, th overall the update is okay, but there's still many why the fuck did you do that Rockstar aspects to it. Uh, the first part would be the fact that they have possibly nerfed payphone hits and security contracts. Security contracts... Uh, now get you somewhere between 16 and 18 grand from what I've seen. Payphone hits are down from 85,000 to 50,000. And uh, security contracts, they used to get you anywhere from like 30 to 70 grand. And now they're like 16 to 18. A specialist plus might be somewhere in the neighborhood of like 25 to 30. The reason I say possibly is Twitter, I've seen some people saying that it's a bug. Apparently this kind of thing has happened because they did just have payphone hits at least with the payphone hits it's a possibly a bug because they were double they might have messed up and decreased the pay on accident as for security contracts i'm not sure it's also possible that they have removed the cap for security contracts and how they much they increase your daily earnings uh, i heard that oh i saw that on twitter from one person although i have no way of checking because i'm only at 108 when the contract first came out you could go up to 500 and you'd get 50,000 a day, but then they dropped it down to 250, 25,000 a day before anybody could even reach it. It was a few days later. So I don't know about that. If they did change it, they most likely increased it. Then I could kind of see the decreasing the pay form, but not the substantial amount they did. If they did, this is just ridiculous and pathetic. Of course, they didn't mention this at all. I went through the change logs and didn't see anything, although they are incredibly vague. They're calling them change logs is kind of a joke. Oh, this has been increased. By how much? As for the other thing I wanted to talk about in this video, the pay increases to prior activities and the pay for the new stuff. So the pay increases for the prior activities, they're not worth enough. They're just not enough. Basically, the main thing they increased was the heist, the original heist and the doomsday heist, which although I haven't done any, I can already tell you that that's just not going to be good enough. It's still going to be basically nothing and not even worth your time. Uh, races, adversary modes, again, I haven't done any of those. It's not going to be worth it. The 50% or whatever joke of an increase they did. It's not. These things need to be doubled or possibly even tripled to come anywhere close to reasonable. So they need to increase the pay on if they really want to make you able to play whatever you want and still make decent money. They need to increase the pay multiple times over on basically everything or at least most things. And they really should do it and add more improvements before December when the next DLC will likely come out. Having to wait six months for a few more minor improvements is kind of ridiculous. They could go about releasing this maybe in between in like September or October to hold this off until the next update. Although they won't need to do that because there's an absurd amount of tunables in this update. Uh, it would be 12 of these 18 vehicles are drip fed. We only have six today. And possibly one of the guns. I'm pretty sure there were supposed to be two guns. There's only one, which apparently isn't the greatest. The precision rifle. And it would also seem the auto shop thing, where you're supposed to be able to go to buy cars, review them, isn't even open yet. It says uh, reopening soon on the doors, apparently, but it's not actually open. I completely forgot to check that out in my live stream. As for the new activities, they're kind of hit and miss with the pay. Some of them, especially the business stuff, is good, although some of the business stuff isn't good pay. I'm still test doing some tests with those. I will be have a video out, uh, the whole guide on all the bu new business expansions, hopefully soon with today or tomorrow, depending on how long it takes me to figure all that out and if they're really worth it. As for the IA missions, they start off okay, although going into the later missions, they kind of get irritating and I don't know I just not the most into them as it progressed they're okay but there's some very stupid parts but I won't give away any spoilers the dumbest part about it is the pay I got anywhere from I, I changed the difficulty a bit because I just want to get through them to get the trade prices but on easy I was making like 30 grand and on hard I was making like 35 40 grand I think it wasn't very maybe it was closer to like 50 but the thing is, as, as bad as that is on its own, they're double. So it's going to be half that. It's going to be 25 grand and 20 grand and sometimes even less, which is like 2013 original contract mission prices. These need to be increased along with all the other contract missions in the game and quite substantially, three or four times at least. 
And these missions are quite time consuming and kind of a pain in the ass. So they're honestly not worth doing probably past your first playthrough. Get the trade prices, check them out, and then nobody's going to play them again. That's just what's going to happen after a couple weeks, nobody's going to be playing them. Yeah, that is about all I think I wanted to talk about in this one. They really just need to increase the prices quite substantially on a lot of things, including the things they've already increased or the, the payouts, that is. Hopefully the payphone hits and the security contract thing is just a bug. That would be ridiculous. But we will just have to see as time goes on. And as I said, today or tomorrow, hopefully a guide on the new business, the expansions. Probably just going to do them all in one video and go through all of them and if they're worth it or not. Still got to figure that out. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Goodbye.